Two of the world's largest brewing companies may be merging, leading to a combination that would surely trigger an antitrust review around the world. Anheuser-Busch InBev has approached London-based SAB Miller about a takeover that, if completed, would create a brewing behemoth that would dominate much of the global beer market. Here with more details is WSJ Corporate Bureau Chief Marcelo Prince. Marcelo, thanks for joining us. Good to be here. First off, this is not a done deal, correct? There correct. are hurdles. There are still some hurdles, and they, there isn't a formal offer yet. What we know is that AB InBev has approached SAB Miller. The two of, there's been talks or interest between the two sides for some time, but there's no deal terms yet before them. Now, what would the regulatory concerns be? I mean, we know that SAB Miller owns Miller Lite and right. Coors and Anheuser-Busch, Budweiser, among others. Together, that's about 30 percent? That's right. The, if you took the two companies as they exist now, they would be about 30 percent of the total worldwide beer market. Um, I think if the deal were to get through, there would obviously be some divestitures, both here in the U.S. and around the world. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, they have over 200 brands. And considering the global nature of this, could there be different regulatory concerns in different areas Absolutely. of the world? Absolutely. Yeah, I think it depends. If you look in Europe, there's problems if they, the two of them are combined here in the U.S. There's a particular complicating factor because there's a joint venture um, called Miller with Miller Coors. Mm -hmm. um, so I think they would have almost in every part of the world where you look, South America, Asia, areas where they might be forced to divest business units. And that's part of the reaction you're seeing in the stock market today. I think people are thinking companies like Heineken and others might be able to pick up some of these brands that uh, they might have to divest. Right. Now, we know that AB InBev was itself the result of a merger not too long ago. What has the result been there for consumers? Have they had more or fewer choices? Choice. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, the, the, the deal has kind of helped improve their profits somewhat. They've mm -hmm. caught some costs. There's this Brazilian um, private equity firm that's behind it called 3G Capital, uh, which is known for sort of uh, bringing some cost controls to these big food companies and beverage companies. Um, so I think the expectation is that they have some expertise in that, but there's mixed outcome on how successful they are in building brands. And um, certainly they've tried to push Budweiser, and even though it's well known here, it's, there are parts of Africa and, uh, and other parts of the world where Budweiser actually is not the dominant player. Right. So how long do you think it'll be before we could see a deal like this one finalized? Yeah, I think there, it's still preliminary. I mean, I think it'll be some time. I mean, the, they have until the middle of October to let the UK regulator know whether or not they're going to make an offer. And so that would be the next yardstick, I think. All right. Well, I'll be waiting and watching. Marcelo Prince, thank you so sure. much for that.